I joined the army in 2007, signed up at 16. Oh, I loved it. Iraq was happening at the time and we knew we were going to war, so it was kind of what we wanted to do. But then Iraq finished and then we ended up getting a call to go to Afghan. Two friends I lost out there, they both got blown up by an IED. And a couple of days before, one of my officers got blown up as well. I ended up carrying his coffin and putting it on the plane because of that and a few other things, I now suffer with PTSD. I thought if I went to Afghan again, I might be able to sort my head out. I didn't get better at all, if anything, I probably got a bit worse. The second time I went, I'd had a little boy by that point and I was married. So I missed quite a bit. I've not connected with him the way I wanted to. Obviously the PTSD affected me massively, but it's also affected all my family. My mum and my, my old man, they both ended up with depression because of it. My nan, she hasn't actually had a full night's sleep since the day I went to Afghan. Because of my PTSD as well, they did medically discharge me from the army. It wasn't what I wanted. Military is my family. They always were. So when I did get out, it wasn't a gradual. It was like, you're going soon, you're gone. That impacted a lot. Getting out wasn't the hard part. The hard part was having to try and cope with day-to-day -day life, not having the structure. Trying to find something on Civvy Street was horrendous. And then having to try and sort out housing as well. I was in a five bedroom house with the military, with my family and everything. And then, because I owned a flat, we ended up having to move back to that, which was a one bedroom flat with four of us. I've been to a few different charities. That was me and my wife. However, since that, she's realized she can't cope with my PTSD. Because of all this, she did leave. I don't get to see the kids every day now. I am getting better. I'm not going to stop because of my boys. But like a lot of veterans, when you join the military, asking for help is drilled into you to be a sign of weakness. A lot of people won't tell people they're veterans, not because they're not proud of it, because they feel ashamed that they're weak and they're asking for help. Identifying someone as a veteran will help a lot because there is different kind of help that I think veterans with PTSD or with anything need. Little things can be triggers, so they could just see blood and that could be a trigger and then they could get aggressive or they could be in a corner and they don't want to talk to anyone or something could make a big bang and that could set them off as well. Knowing people are veterans is probably half the battle. Not a lot of employers or people actually understand what you're going through. Joining the army, everybody realises that you fight for your country. But when you get out, you don't get support and you kind of get chucked to the side. And that's why no one wants help, because they don't think anyone is going to give it to them either. The more that people support us, it is one of the most crucial things.